Yo, 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 what it do, Croc fam? It's your boy, man, and I'm back with another one. Back with that good old Croc mail, man. We got that good old SpongeBob collection in. We've been waiting on this one right here. Y'all already know what it is, man. It is about to go down. And from what I'm seeing already, my hardest, my hardest collection for 2024, man. Of course, man, for me, that good old SpongeBob, just growing up watching it, you know what I'm saying? Just having a, a lot of history with that cartoon and then just seeing these clogs right here. For me, man, I'm stamping these boys already for the hardest collection of 2024. Let's go ahead and get into these good old SpongeBob's. It is going down, you dig? And they came through with the good old classical clogs, you know what I'm saying, for the good old SpongeBob's. I see Saliga. Got that good old split in the bag, like how them uh, crush joints had came in. So you gotta take them out one at a time. They should have came with the bag, a uh, special bag or a box or something for these boys. They came in the regular Crocs bag, but it's all good, man. If you don't know what we're talking about right now, just for starters, we're gonna start off with El Captain, you know what I'm saying? The big boss himself, the good old SpongeBob, you dig? Classes and these boys right here is a piece of work, a work of art. You see what's going down. You know what we talking about right now. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. The difference, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna peel the skin back on these pretty pink babies right here. And y'all already know who it is, man. Mr. Pat himself. You see what's going down, and he got the good old classics as well. You know what I'm saying? Love me some Patrick, man. Just love how crazy stupid Patrick is. You know what I'm saying? Over the top. Them gibbets on there is hard. Of course, they had to put his house on there. You see what's going on, man. You see what it is. Last but not least, already, I'm going to stamp it already, and we ain't dialed in on these boys yet. This is my hardest pal right here. Know what I'm saying? I was just like, man, them off-court claws, I gotta have them. Know what I'm saying? Just because these boys is super funky and off-court, they starting to make their wave now. Like, I think this is like maybe the third collab that uh, off-court got. And they really starting to make their wave. Know what I'm saying? Don't sleep on the uh, off-courts. Be looking forward to some more collabs as well. But, man, they came through. And this pair right here got everybody on them. You know what I'm saying? You see Sandy, you see Mr. Krabs, you see Plankton, Patrick, Squidward, you know what I'm saying? Gary, SpongeBob, and man, look at the soul on them boys. Look at that soul! Stop playing they got Plankton on the inside of these. Hardest pair for me. Hardest pair for me. And they had one more pair. It was a collection of four. They had one more pair, which was the Cozy Sandals. And them joints is like white with the uh, with the water insides, which is like a blue or whatever. And um, I think that the biggest size that they had in the Cozy Sandals was a man's nine. I think that's why I didn't get the Cozy Sandals. I kind of didn't want them, but I was going to get them anyway. But they ended up not having my size. So you looking at three of the four of the SpongeBob collection. You know what I'm saying? Three of the hardest ones. These right here, man. These right here. Some good old off courts. Man, stop playing. And then they got everybody on. They got all the characters, you know what I'm saying? All the main characters on uh look at the uh look at the patch on the back. Stop playing. Stop it. And let's go ahead and get into the bio, you know what I'm saying, of SpongeBob SquarePants the show. Just for the ones that don't know, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of us grew up watching SpongeBob. A lot of us, a lot of us didn't. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's put the ones on game that haven't. You know what I'm saying? Seen this show. So the show is called SpongeBob SquarePants. It came out in 1999. It's a comedy cartoon. You know what I'm saying? And the bio on it say a square yellow sponge named SpongeBob SquarePants lived in a pineapple with his pet snail Gary in the city of Bikini Bottom on the floor of the Pacific Ocean. He works as a fry cook at Krusty Krab. During this time off, SpongeBob has a knack for attracting trouble with his starfish best friend, Patrick. Arrogant octopus Squidward technic uh, technicals. <laughs> technicals. <laughs> Man, y'all gotta forgive me. 
SpongeBob neighbors dislike SpongeBob because of his childish, uh, childlike behavior. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know SpongeBob is real, real goofy, childish, over the top. You know what I'm saying? Real obnoxious. That's what makes the show funny. You know what I'm saying? Just SpongeBob being extra every day, having something funny to do, pissing somebody off. Uh, Squidward, uh, in particular, always pissing Squidward off. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk favorite characters outside of uh, SpongeBob. For me, I think my favorite character got to be uh, Plankton. Plankton, man, he just super duper funny. You know what I'm saying? And it's just funny how lonely he is in that, in that uh, he got a restaurant called The Chum Bucket and he never get any customers. And his character on the show is just somebody that's trying to steal the recipe from the Krusty Krab because he want customers. He want his business to be booming. And man, he just go to extreme measures to try and get this recipe. He's super duper uh, funny, man, in his own way. It's just funny, like, all the, the laughs uh, with Plankton that just go over your head. Because I had to go back and watch some of the... Um, of course, uh, as a child, I grew up watching Spongebob. I'm going to tell you when I really, really, really watched Spongebob. Uh, a great year in uh, Spongebob when I was going to Hoffman Middle School. So my middle school was right in front of my apartments. You know what I'm saying? It was a gate in between uh, my middle school and the apartments. And uh, they had the gate, you know what I'm saying, where we can go through to go to the school. And we... Fortunately, we stayed like in the building, like right next to the gate. So every morning before I would leave out the door, that's how when I know it was time for me to leave, I watched two episodes of uh, SpongeBob. You know what I'm saying? And I watched damn near like probably like six, seven seasons just in my uh, A grade year, just every morning, just getting up, watching a few episodes uh, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I really, really uh, was just catching on the different stuff that I didn't catch on to. You know what I'm saying? As a child, and just, of course, now uh, being an adult, watching uh, certain episodes here and there, you pick up on uh, different stuff. And, of course, just like any other Nickelodeon show, they had some crazy stuff uh, going on in the show. But uh, didn't stop us from watching it. I think even as kids, we knew some of the crazy stuff that was going on in the show. Like That's just been the thing. Like Even from, from the Nickelodeon shows just to Adult Swim and all that, Cartoons always had some provocative stuff going on. Like, even in some of the cartoon shows I see today, it's just, it's always been something uh, provocative. But it's crazy now, the kids, they pick up on it uh, much sooner than we did. Like like I said, we was noticing it, but we was just, like, dismissing it. And it's like now with the internet and everything, of course. But just watching it now is just super duper funny, picking up on the stuff that I seen then and just now confirming the stuff that I seen. For me, my favorite episode of uh, Spongebob gotta be, uh, y'all remember the episode when they was delivering the pizza? And it was like the whole episode, it took them forever to uh, deliver the uh, pizza. For me, what make that episode so favorite to me is that's when you get to really see the feelings that uh, Squidward got for uh, Spongebob. Because of course, the whole show SpongeBob, Patrick, whomever, Squid was just like real miserable, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even get why. But just super duper miserable, like, and of course SpongeBob was just always antagonizing, always just doing something to piss Squidward off. You know what I'm saying? So the whole show you would think that Squid would just really, really hate SpongeBob. But low-key, he really, really loves SpongeBob. That's his boy, you know what I'm saying? He really, really rock with him. And on that episode right there when he delivering the pizza, remember when the dudes slammed the door in uh SpongeBob face? Because the pizza was too late. He said something about it being cold or something like that. That, that pissed Squidward off. I'm talking about Squidward went straight off. I think he opened the, when the dude opened the door, he threw the pizza in his face. And, uh, man, it was just funny. Like I said, the bottom, the bottom line to me uh, that I took away from it was that just showed us, even though SpongeBob pissed Squidward off so much, like he still got uh, SpongeBob's back. That's still his boy. He still love him. So that was like one of my favorite episodes. Man, these boys right here. Let's get into the details of these claws. Like, these boys right here just straight up off the chain. Of course, that top just embodying SpongeBob's body. You know what I'm saying? It got the shadows on there for the hose. His arms on there. Got his tie. You know what I'm saying? Off his shirt. The sole on them boys is crazy. Now, that sole on here, I got to get the close-up for y'all can see that on there. Let's get... Hold on. Let's, let's, let's get the close-up on there because y'all know lately... 
with the sole on the um on the classics, it's been like that patent, that shiny light type material. These right here different. These right here different. They that's crazy how they did them on here. Let me get that light on for y'all. Look at these boys. Okay, you see that sole? That sole is not shiny. So it's like a foamy, rubbery like type material when you rub on it. They took the pattern, the shine off of it, and they just gave it like a rugged, foamy, uh, rubbery type material. Just livened it up. I really, really like how they did that on there. Because it just gave it more of an authentic, authenticity look to it. You know what I'm saying? My words getting uh, chopped up today, y'all. But, man, it just really, really gave it a clean, fly look to it. And it, I, don't know if, I don't know if the camera doing it any justice. But it's just like, it's real, real clean. And look at the insides on the, uh, of course, SpongeBob. He real, real goofy. So he make different uh, facial expressions. See, he got his arms on there with the towel on there. That's super duper fly. These boys right here is cold. You know what I'm saying? These boys right here is nasty. Then we come over here to Pat Dog. And that pink on there, man, I ain't gonna lie. That pink on them, Patrick's, is just like super duper popping. I don't know if the camera doing them any justice. Like that, that camera is just—it's not like they real, real vibrant. Like that pink is real, real hard on it, and them gibbets are stupid. All the gibbets kind of got like a—not a plastic, but like a a rubbery plastic type feel. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, but if you if you notice right here, it's kind of like a—it's not slick that hard plastic like we normally would get on the gibbets. It's more of like a rubber band rubbery like type of uh, material on these and the same thing that they did with spongebob's on the sole they did with patrick's they're not shiny pat leather it's more like a rubber um rubber band like type vibe and you see they put the patches on his it say is mayonnaise an instrument and of course patrick he just as goofy as spongebob if not even goofier, he kind of like that retarded, like type goofy. You know what I'm saying? Just extra, extra, like dumb with it, like. And that's what make his character so funny. You know what I'm saying? He make you really, really love starfish. You know what I'm saying? Just with his, with his humor, like it's just he just really funny and and act real retarded. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because Patrick low key really be acting. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like he really super duper clever. He just act retarded. You know what I'm saying? To try and get by. You know what I'm saying? That's just Patrick's character. You know what I'm saying? And he's super duper. You know what I'm saying? I love Patrick, man. For sure, uh, SpongeBob's best friend. And that, and them joints. Look at the buttons. Of course, the buttons is just custom. And that's how we know what we got, we dealing with. And then we get down to my favorite pal. You know what I'm saying? Which embodies everybody. You know what I'm saying? So let's start from the left. We got Plankton. We talked about Plankton a little bit. Real lonely, real miserable. Know what I'm saying? Don't don't <laughs> don't ever got no customers. I always trying to steal the recipe. I think one episode he actually got the recipe and didn't know what to do with it. If I wasn't mistaken, but man, it was just super crazy. And then Sandy, of course, know what I'm saying? I'm straight out of Texas, like Sandy. Know what I'm saying? That's my girl right there. I remember that one episode when um she she came out of the uh because everybody know know what I'm saying the squirrel character can't be under the water so she came up out of her uh her glass one time and i think she was underwater i don't know what she did to make herself breathe but that was a super funny episode my dog mr Krabs, man it's crazy because me and mr Krabs got so much in common you know what i'm saying i'm not as ruthless as uh mr Krabs with the money but it's just how cheap he is that's me right there i'm like super duper cheap with my money like i be trying to save 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 like but Mr. Krabs, like, he is super duper ruthless. And it's funny just watching him now as an adult and just having, you know, having bills and everything now, handling with money and knowing what money means, knowing the value of a dollar. Just go back and watch a few of them episodes. I swear they just going to have you cracking up at Mr. Krabs because, man, that man is so cheap, dog. It don't make no sense. Like, he make the show really, really funny how cheap he is. Gary, that's my dog right there. You know what I'm saying? Gary, super duper funny. Of course, we talked about Patrick, you know what I'm saying? Squirrel with my dog, Squirrel would be acting super miserable for nothing. Just always acting. <laughs> he just real, real, like, off to himself, you know what I'm saying? Like his time then, SpongeBob. 
I like these right here. You see in the background, they got the imprint of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just got that shadow print. They chose Plankton to go on the insides, which was a good choice because plank, uh, Plankton is blue. So they meshed up perfectly up in uh And then on the back, they got the, the logo, SpongeBob, Squad Pants. And then you see the sole with that Crocs on it. I ain't noticed that at first. That's dope. That's fire. Man, these right here about four dollars. And they got bikini bottom. Just everybody's house on there. Squidward's house. SpongeBob's house. These joints right here is just super duper fire. Super duper dope. Like who all was a fan of uh SpongeBob? I know I wasn't the only one a fan of uh SpongeBob. By far to me, one of the hardest Nickelodeon shows, if not the hardest. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's so generational, like came out. My kids on it. I'm pretty sure they kids gonna be on it. Like just it's just it's so timeless of a show. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 so cultural, like too. Just just everything that they was doing and there was a lot of stuff that was real, real relatable. You know what I'm saying? And these boys right here, I ain't gonna lie. They so dope. I'm ready to go ahead and get these boys on the feet, man. Let's go ahead and get this good old collecto on the foot. Come through with them good old SpongeBob classics. On chill. And you see the deal, you see it's real. The yellow is super vibrant on these boys. For me, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna go with a still 13 out of 10 on them good old SpongeBob classic joints, man. And that soul, that soul is fire. That's super duper cold right there for the ones that don't know, that's his pants right there. Good old work pants. And they detail these super duper hard. I don't think it's, it's nothing else that they could have did. You know what I'm saying? I know for the Jibbit lovers, y'all might find out how to throw some eyes or something on there somewhere. But man, these boys right here is super duper cold. Got my boy SpongeBob on the button. Yes, sir. Y'all see what it is, man. The boys. The boys is fire. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob. Yes, sir. Come back with them boys. In sports mode, and you see what's going down. Them good old SpongeBob square pants joints. Look at the tie. Look at the arms. Look at the arms. And for the ones that want to know, these gibbets are not removable. These are glued on the shoe. It's a part of the aesthetics. These cannot be taken off. It's glued down. The tie, everything is glued down. And I love it. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't planning on taking it off in the first place. I feel like that's what makes the claw the claw. You know what I'm saying? Them good old details. Y'all already know me, man. I'm a details guy. I'm a aesthetics lover. You know what I'm saying? So most definitely for me, it's a vibe every time you dig. Anytime they put them glue on, drippers on that, it just lets you know that that's something that needs to be. That's the initiation of the shoe. You hear what I'm talking about? You hear what I'm telling you? You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? But for the ones that want to know about sizing, these are classic clogs. I know we talking collabs, we talking SpongeBob collection, all of that. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? These are classic clogs, which most of us go true to size with the classic clogs. Your boy wear a size 12 in Crocs. Most of my pals are in 12. Y'all already know if I got a quarter inch to a half an inch space, they running true. That's what we looking at. So I would recommend anybody getting these to go ahead and just go with your regular size. That should work out for you. Man, it is going down. I've been ready for this collab to touch down for a minute. They've been teasing us with the pictures for a while now. I finally got them in. You know what I'm saying? My SpongeBob collection complete. You dig? It's complete. You hear me? I'm through with them good old pack dogs. On chill, and man, I'm going to say it one more time, Croc fam. That pink on up is just a whole different type of color when you're looking at them on hand. Like, that pink is just super, it's super duper cold, man. It's just looking like a piece of bologna or something right now, man. That color is so vibrant. It is so fresh. It is so funky, man. I'm really, 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 really digging these the long way. If you know the uh, Crocs color, the pink clay, it's kind of like they mixed that pink clay with a pink, and they just, it just, man, it just gave a really, really.
really, really nice color, man. I'm really, really digging that. And then, of course, like I said, they came through with that rubbery-like type sole on them boys, man. That is just killing right there. For me, I, I mess around and wear SpongeBob and uh, Patrick together. Just do one and one. Just because, you know, they, they homeboys, they real tight. You know what I'm saying? They ride or die. So I mess around and rock one and one. Especially, man, these boys right here, I ain't gonna lie, they stupid, duper cold. For me, for me, a 14 out of 10 on these boys right here. Just off of that, that, that. Man, if you got these right here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Words can't explain that pink that's shooting up. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just make your eyes real wide, like, on something. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the patches on the straps. Got your gibbets on there. You see what's going down. You know he love him some mayonnaise. Of course, his house. And like I say, I love the texture that they use for the gibbets on these boys, man. Just super, super duper funky. Same thing as far as sizing, like we talked about on the SpongeBob joints. These are classics. Even though we talking... Collapse, you know what I'm saying? They still should fit like classic clothes. I know sometimes they don't. Sometimes they size up. But in most cases, they do. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, your boy was size 12. If I got a quarter inch to a half an inch space, I'm looking at true. I say the quarter inch to a half an inch space for the ones that don't know because I came from a size 11 and a half to, to a 12 in Crocs. So that's how it's easy for me to identify Know what I'm saying? That true size for me just because of that half size that I came uh, from. Just for the ones that ain't been with us. You know what I'm saying? You got to put the, the new Croc fam on game. And a shout out to the new Croc fam, by the way. You know what I'm saying? I see we growing in here. Let's continue to grow. For the ones that ain't chimed in with us yet, man, feel free to chime in anytime. Any questions that you ever got, man. You know what I'm saying? You know you bought a Croc connoisseur. I got the answers for you. If I don't know the answers, I know everybody in the croc world. You know what I'm saying? From the biggest croc collector down to the smallest croc collectors. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody in the croc game so I can find out the answer for you if you need it. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't hesitate. That's what I'm here for, to rock out with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fam. So anytime you want to talk croc talk, anytime you want to just talk any talk in general, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Pisces. We good at just listening and, you know what I'm saying, and vibing. So anybody, you know what I'm saying, for the new Croc fam, is rocking in, chiming in with us. Y'all already know how we get, you know what I'm saying? This is the best place to be, you dig? But anyways, let's get back down to the needy greedy. These boys right here is a piece of work, a work of art, you know what I'm saying? Gotta have these in the collecto. Crocs, I still ain't dropped them yet. So for the ones that slept on the Insta story when I put it in, you still got a chance to get action at these. And I'm pretty sure these here going to hit the stores as well. Come back through in that good old sports mode. And that's where them patches on the back shine bright. Know what I'm saying? It's mayonnaise and instrument. Because we all know for the ones that SpongeBob love us. Patrick, he loves him some mayonnaise. Know what I'm saying? He always walking around with, with, with his mouth all messy all the time. Like He's just like that big kid. Know what I'm saying? Real, real funny like. That's where that shine bright, the good old patch on the back. And like I say, man, the takeaway for me on the Patrick Pal is just that pink. That pink is just real, real vibrant. I'm really, really digging it. And uh, wearing these right here, I might find me something like real off, like an off color and just let the pink uh, shine on its own. You know what I'm saying? With these right here. Just because that pink is vibrant. You know what I'm saying? Then, of course, they put his bottoms on the sole. It is... Ain't nothing else to say, man. Come on, like. Last but not least, you dig. We come through with them good old off-court joints on chill. And these right here, my top dogs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even cap. Straight 15 out of 10 on these. Just because they, they got everybody on them. They got the main characters on them. They came with off-court. Like I say, man, off-court been making a wave. I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but them people been coming through with the come through. I think the last time we had talked off court was, uh, which one was that? The Toy Story collab. Remember the Toy Story collab with the checkerboard So, Like, come on, man. Stop playing. The off court is really making a splash. And I do, I know I got a pair of regular off courts. I, I think I got off courts when they first dropped. I had got the regular colorway. So I've been an off court lover. I've been digging them. 
this year they just now making their wave as far as getting some collabs under their belt. So this right here might be like their third collab for the year. And man, off court is killing the game right now. They fit real comfortable. I love how they feel. They remind me of the Croc Band Tools, you know what I'm saying? Just mixed with it's like it's like the classic clogs, the Croc Band Tools, you know what I'm saying, got in bed together. And this is their baby right here. Far as the sizing, I stay true to size with these. I feel like they do have like a narrow type uh feel right here but it's not it's not like disturbing it's more like snub hug up on this part of the foot like vibe as far as the length wise of it it still fit like a classic clog to me you know what i'm saying but you'll you'll feel like a, just a little narrowness right now i don't feel like it's that bothering to where you'll have to size up just to try to avoid it i would stay true to size with them and embrace it you know what I'm saying? Especially for the snub lovers, the ones that like their stuff to fit like a glove. This is for you right here. These will work perfect because they got that snubness right there. I say from here on to the on to this part. Like so this part right here, it just it got like that snubness right there. Lent wise, like I say, it's cool. But you'll feel snubness right there. I don't feel like that that's like uh indicating that it's too small on on that size. I feel like that's something that they purposely did and you gotta know the details with these claws just like a lot of people don't know that with the terrains they don't run big it says on the tag that these are roomy fit claws so with that being said like you will still get true to size with the terrains and trust me i'm the terrain done so this is valid information y'all so you will get true to size on the terrains but just know they gonna have like that 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 space where you could just let them toes just like you know what I'm saying wiggle around. That's what they is roomy fit. And in these cases right here with the off court, I feel like it's the opposite. It's snub fit. Now I haven't read the tag and seen if it said that or not, but I just know what I know. And and you know what I'm saying, just having different styles and stuff. They make these styles different and they make the comfort different according to what they trying to what task they trying to accomplish and then that's just what it is on these right here that snub feel but i still love the off course you know what i'm saying they making a huge splash they making a huge wave and just the details on that is just like stupid it's unlimited to what they can do with the details on here just because of that that soul and we all seen that uh the classics they inherited that soul too just to add more details on to the cloud and it's just a lot of mini details within these off course. Just the the lines that run through around the top part of the sole, also around here. The strap is different. They got lines in it. They added some patches on here. Now the buttons is plain Jane on the uh, off court clothes. They got like a different style type buttons. I don't know if they didn't haven't figured anything out. I think you can kind of play with the buttons. Give it some custom collab buttons. It'll give it that pop. But right now we haven't seen it yet. I'm pretty sure it's coming. You know what I'm saying? They just waiting on that right collab to come through somebody to really do it up or whatever. But I'm really digging these. These my favorite pair. Like I say, a 15 out of 10. You dig? Then we come back through in sports mode and you see the logo of the show on the back, on the patch. You know what I'm saying? SpongeBob, SquarePants. And then that part right there, I ain't gonna lie. That right there did it for me. Cause it's all like outlining, you know what I'm saying? And it just patched over the top. I like how they did that. That was super duper dope. No Crocs had to come through and get their branding on there, you know what I'm saying? These joints are super duper fire. Super duper dope. Like I say, for me, the SpongeBob collection, I've been waiting on this collection since, I think we have been waiting on these since the uh the Mischief joints. The Mischief booths came out. Remember the, uh, the yellow ones? came out and they were just kind of like really trying to promote it with the SpongeBob uh vibe or whatever. So you had to know that Cross was gonna spend the block and actually come with an actual SpongeBob collab and they did and me I thought they was just gonna come with just the SpongeBobs. Of course you know what I'm saying SpongeBob and friends had to join. So we got the Patrick's we got these right here with everybody on them. You know what I'm saying? And you also don't forget the cozy sandals as well. You know what I'm saying? I drop a picture on them. So you can see them, the cozy sandals. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget about them. And man, like I say, what more is it to say? Like the good old SB Collecto. You feel me? Once again, man, I want to know like who all came through with the good old SpongeBob collection. They haven't officially released on the Crocs site yet. 
I did do an Insta short on them, though. They was at Saliga Shoes. I'm not sure if Saliga Shoes still got them. I know a lot of people went and copped these things. But who all got them as of yet? Who all rocking with them? What's your favorite pair? What's your favorite show? What's your favorite character? Man, let's talk SpongeBob, man. Chime in with your boy. The good old SpongeBob collection. Jip!